This video is about how you can use UDoodle on the iPad to adapt pictures for students with CVI. We will go over how to make quick black backgrounds and even transparent backgrounds so you can easily insert these photos into Keynote presentations or use them on their own. The first thing we'll do is go into UDoodle and click File and Import. We want to draw on top of a photo and now we'll choose our photo from our camera roll. Here I'm choosing a photo of a straw that I would like to take out the background of. First I'm going to crop it so that it doesn't have the words at the bottom. When I'm done cropping the photo by moving the edges, I'll hit the done button and it will upload into UDoodle. Next, I'll hit the brush button on the bottom left, and I want to outline this straw. I'm gonna choose a black fill at the top. It says fill, and I'll choose a black color square at the top. At the bottom of this page, there are two check boxes. I'm concerned about the one that says line mode. It helps me draw straight lines when I'm in the app. And since the straw does have straight lines, I want to make sure that is clicked so it will help me draw. Now I'll just trace the straw with my finger. You can see it start building a black outline. Here I'll start using the line mode feature. I can tap a point on the screen and it will create a straight line from the line of my last brush stroke. Now I'll just clean up a little bit more of the white that is between the straw and the black line. If you ever make a line you don't like, you can always use the undo button on the top left. Okay, I think it's time to call it a day. Now we can go into the fill at the bottom. It looks like a paint can. And then I'll choose a black fill, click on done, and tap the background and it turns my background black. Now we'll need to merge the layers together, so we'll go to the top layer button and click merge to foreground. This will merge the straw and the black together so it's one picture instead of two separate layers. Now you could stop here and have a picture with a black background. That's really great if you're showing students still photos or just putting in one photo per slide, but I want to insert this straw into a keynote presentation with two other photos, so I'm going to make the background transparent. This will make it easier to do animations with. To make the background transparent, we're going to go to the fill button at the bottom again, the paint can, and then choose no fill. Click the background, and now you have the completed picture of the straw with the transparent background. To save this picture, we're going to go up to File, Save As, and then we're gonna save as a PNG. PNGs retain their background transparency. I wanna save mine to camera roll, so I'll click that, and then it will show up in my camera roll. Okay, that's it, thanks for watching.